Hello everyone. Welcome to Real Life Happens. This is Echo and tonight we're going to be talking about women's health and we're discussing stress management. Last week we had episode three, episode three, part one, stress and what it does to your body. Tonight we're having episode three, part two, stress management. Here's our fair use and copyright disclaimer, our entertainment disclaimer, and our medical disclaimer. Life is all about balance. You don't always need to be getting stuff done. Sometimes it's perfectly okay and absolutely necessary to shut down, kick back, and do nothing. We are all human beings. None of us are perfect. We will never be perfect. Why do women feel like we have to do it all on our own? In our careers and our personal lives, we are our own boss. That's right. You may work for or with someone, but ultimately you are your own boss. You set your own expectations and priorities. So why are we all so stressed? Stress is making us sick. We all have underlying beliefs that keep us locked in the cycle of stress. For example, I have to do everything perfectly. My life has to look like the ones in the magazines. I can't say no. What would people think? I must always be on time. Once we realize that we have the power to do what we want to do, no one else is in charge of you but you. You can re-record your our excuse me. We can re-record our internal self-talk. Do daily positive affirmations to love and accept yourself as you are. Make a daily schedule and stick to it. Make relaxation and sleep priorities in your day. It's okay to love yourself and to be kind to yourself. You are the only you you have. Here are some suggestions to make your life less stressed. Smell. The smell of an orange relieves stress. Smelling an orange or eating one can reduce stress by over 70%. How to reduce stress and soothe your body, mind, and spirit. Number one, identify what you do and don't care about. What do you spend your time doing? Does each activity bring you joy? Tune into yourself because only you know how you really feel. Do things that bring you joy and let the rest go. Make time for things you love to do. Number two, get organized. Use a planner or a calendar to sort out how you will start making time in your life for everything you love doing. Learn to say no to the things you really don't want to do. No explanation is necessary. Simply say, no, I'm not available I'm not able to do whatever it is the person wanted you to do. People will not like you standing up for yourself. Set boundaries and hold your ground. People will try to guilt you into doing what they want you to do. Remember, you are the boss of you and can say no. Number three, make time for peace and quiet. Pick a spot where you can shut out everything for a few minutes. Life is a hectic, crazy mess. We can't always control what life throws at us. We can control how we react and respond. So that you don't become overwhelmed, you must take time for peace and quiet. Allow yourself a time each day to de-stress and do not think about your to-do list. Health does not always come from medicine. Most of the time it comes from peace of mind, peace in the heart, 
peace of the soul. It comes from laughter and love. Number four, my father always said, if you work hard, you also need to play hard. I understand what he meant now that I am older. We must have a hobby, something we enjoy doing and look forward to doing. My father also said to just keep all the balls in the air. By that he meant you give each part of your life some time each day so no area is neglected. Number five, make your life simpler by getting rid of clutter in your life. Physical and emotional baggage needs to go. Less is sometimes more. Less responsibilities, less social media, and make room for what brings you joy. Create a living space where you can feel at peace and inspire feelings of relaxation. Number six, create an action list. Things you can start taking action on right now. Start small and tackle projects one at a time. Set aside time every day to focus on your to-do list. Do something every day to accomplish your tasks. Don't put pre added pressure on yourself. There is always tomorrow to begin again. Money. Mm. Number seven, make a budget. Money is considered the most stressful factor for Americans. Keeping a budget can keep you from going overboard. Learn how to live within your means. Do not live your life on credit cards. In today's economy, our dollars are not stretching as far as they did just a few short years ago. We are all having more month than money. Eating a healthy, balanced diet reduces stress. Number eight, eat and drink wisely. Eating a balanced amount of whole grains, lean meats, fresh fruits, and vegetables can help you manage your stress levels. Make sure you stay hydrated. By the time you are thirsty, you are already dehydrated. Food can be medicine to our bodies. We also need a good multivitamin and make sure to get some sunshine every day for vitamin D. Sleep, sleeping reduces stress. Number nine, get plenty of sleep. When your body sleeps, it has time to heal. Recharge your batteries often. Things don't look as bleak after a good night's sleep. Make sleep a priority. Getting enough rest can also help with weight loss and your general well-being. Exercise reduces stress. Number 10, exercise is your friend. Exercise can help improve your mind as well as your body. If your body is stronger, you will be better equipped to deal with stress. Find a type of exercise that you can actually enjoy and that you are able to do. I love swimming and going to the YMCA pool has become one of my favorite activities. Pets help reduce stress. Get a pet. I know it will add responsibilities to your life. It will give you so much stress relief and love that you'll be glad to take care of your pet. Sometimes we need to be needed and pets need us 100%. Their love is totally unconditional and pure. Look for grat number 12. Look for gratitude. Be thankful for all the good things in your life. The good will outweigh the bad if you focus on the good things. Help someone else. Volunteer and find a need in your community. When we help others, our problems don't seem so bad. Meditation reduces stress. Number 13, try mindfulness and meditation, aromatherapy, yoga, or massage therapy. Number 14, pray to your higher power. Number 15, spend time having fun and laughed often. Number 16, find a trusted friend or family member to talk out your problems. Number 17, try therapy. Sometimes a neutral party is easier to talk to.
Hobbies reduce stress. Number 18, find a hobby to give yourself a few minutes to focus on something fun. Having a hobby can be so relaxing. I love tending to my plants. I have a passion for true crime and missing persons cases. I also enjoy reading mystery novels. My favorite author is James Patterson. Number 19, time management. We all have 24 hours in each day to do everything we want to do. Basically, it breaks down into eight hours for sleep, eight hours for work, and eight hours for yourself. Allow time to get ready for work and drive to work. If you are in a relationship or married, then find, then some of your time can be spent with your significant other. If you have children or grandchildren, then save a little time to spend with them. Also save time for your fun hobbies too. Then you need to spend time with your friends and coworkers. 24 hours a day times seven days a week is 168 hours per week. It's no wonder we are stressed out when we have so much we really want to do. Many of our tasks are not done every day. Laundry, cleaning, shopping, and cooking can be done a few times a week. Daily, we need time for our self-care. This is where spending a few minutes planning really pays off. Just remember, you are in charge of how you spend your time. Number 20, make a commitment to cleaning up your living space and keeping it neat and organized. We all waste time looking for things around our homes. Everything in your home needs its own home, a place where you put where you will always put it. That way, when you are looking for something, you will know exactly where it is. Our homes are an outward reflection of our inside turmoil. So an organized home equals an organized mind. We can get some help cleaning and organizing our homes, and then it will be easy to maintain. If you live with other people, children, husbands, get them involved too. Even small children like to clean up. In closing, I would like I'm sorry, real life happened. (laughs) Technical difficulty. In closing, I would like to share a few of my time-saving tricks. Here are are some things I do to keep my life running smoothly and reduce my stress level. Number one, I pay as many bills as I can can online on AutoPay. Any other bills, I try to have the due dates fall together so I can pay bills once a month and be finished with it. Number two, meal planning helps your budget and it's time saving when you're grocery shopping. Number three, do laundry as you have enough for a load. Don't allow it to pile up on you. Older children can learn how to use the washer and dryer and be responsible for their own laundry. By age 10, my daughter cleaned her own room and did her own laundry. Number four, keeping a planner or calendar really helps keep everyone's schedule and you can look ahead to know when you are available to make plans and when you already have commitments. Number five, learning to take care of yourself first seems so wrong to most of us. Mothers need to take care for their children. And if they don't take good care of themselves, They have nothing to give their children. This was a very hard concept for me to learn. As you age, you realize that it is not only true, but very necessary. Once your children go to bed, then take time to relax and do your self-care. You will feel better and your children will have a happier mother and that will make them happier children. Next Thursday night at 7 o'clock p.m., we will present Episode 3, Part 3, Headaches, Sleep, and Sleep Apnea. 
which all of those things contribute to your stress level. I hope these hints and tricks and tips will help you with your stress. Just remember, you don't have to be perfect and you don't have to do it all today. There's always tomorrow and you don't have to do it alone. Ask the people around you to help you and I'm sure they'll be glad to. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to our channel. Please like comment, and share this video. Thank you so much. Good night, y'all. I'll see you next week. Bye now.